Right, I've just got these two ER collet chucks off of Banggood and I'm using these to be held um, in jaws on the lathe um, in a chuck. Um, when you get them they're too long for that because there's too much overhang and therefore I have to machine part of the back of the hexagon. So to do that the tool steel is so hard that I'm using blue nano inserts. I hold the nut which is um, screwed down onto the actual collet tightly so I hold the nut in the jaws like this and put a live centre in the back here and then I turn down to a certain distance using the carriage stop and keep turning down until I've got a very thin ring in which the um, live centre is still engaged in and then I take it out of the lathe and saw that ring off with a hacksaw I then put it on the belt sander and just take off the edge and then I can put it back up in the lathe then and just face off this back here, a very fine cut without any chance of it being um, pulled out of the jaws. So I find this the easiest method of actually removing that back end. Um, there's not much to hold on on the nut and you can't hold on the thread. So um, if you try to do that, held that in the jaws without a live centre in the back there the material is so hard that it probably actually rip that out of the jaws and cause a lot of damage so this is the safest method of actually removing the back part of the collet chuck and it is actually great to have these if you have the actual um, collets for these um, chucks I've got the ER40 and the ER32 and I've got both sets and it's great having this so that you can quickly put it up in the jaws you can hold on maybe uh, some thread without damaging the threads or you can use it to um, do stock and the backstop that i showed earlier in another video but uh, like i said they're really quick to just put up in the lathe in the three jaw chuck and use direct like that so now I'm going to go out into the workshop and show you on the my foot again how I do this one, the same sort of length as that one, using the blue nano insert. Um, like I said, I used one edge on this one here, and I dare say I'll use one edge on this one as well. And you'll see that the swarf comes off blue where it's so hard. So I've got my turning tool set up with an 08 radius um, tool. That's the large radius and then I'm going to put the live centre in the back like that and lock it up and I'm going to use the power feed on the um, carriage as well.
So now you can see this piece is thin enough and I'm going to take this onto the bench vise and saw this off and I can actually use this component here for something else because it's got about 100 thou thickness still on it, wall thickness. And now I'll just clean this up on the belt sander. And now I can put it up safely in the jaws and carefully face off with this without any fear of it actually moving it in the jaws because it's got too much overhang. And just to make sure I get a nice clean cut without any movement at all, I'm going to change the insert to a fresh edge. And then I can deburr the edge and just finish off on the buffing wheel. But that's this part safely faced off with its new length.
So you can see now that the overhang is not too bad at all and it's a great little chuck for putting up quickly into the jaws like this. And this is the ER32 one that I machined off earlier. And I use this one on the Chinese mini lathe as well.